A mass extinction is an event that causes species to become extinct in a short period of time. Mass extinction can cause the whole ecosystem to be almost completely wiped out. Mass extinction can be caused by various reasons. After a mass extinction, biodiversity is limited. But mass extinction isn't all bad. It also offers new opportunity to the survivors. If we go back through time, there were five mass extinctions that happened before humans walked on the earth. Let's take a look. These five extinctions nearly wiped out all the species that inhabited the Earth during their time. The Ordovician Silurian Mass Extinction, the Late Devonian Mass Extinction, the Permian Mass Extinction, the Triassic-Jurassic Mass Extinction, and the Cretaceous-Tertiary Mass Extinction. First, I'm going to talk about is the Ordovician Silurian Mass Extinction. During the Ordovician period, most species lived in the sea. This was true until about 443 million years ago. The event was caused by a fall of carbon dioxide in the early atmosphere, colder climate creating glaciation, or the freezing of sea water. This caused sea levels and temperature to increasingly drop. An ice age was formed during that time. Many species died in frozen water. Approximately 85% of life and at least 50% of all marine species were wiped out forever. After 84 million years, at the end of the Devonian period, many species live in seas and that had low sea levels. These low level seas had little oxygen, making it difficult for marine life to survive. The reason why the late Devonian resulted with a mass extinction is unknown. Most scientists believe the late Devonian mass extinction was caused by asteroid impact or climate change. An important consequence after this mass extinction is that the first ammonoids, which are related to octopuses and squids appeared. Plants such as horse tails and ferns appeared too. 248 million years ago, the Permian extinction event, or the Great Dying, was the worst mass extinction in the ever. Approximately 70% of land species and 95% of marine species both went extinct. The cause of this extinction was possibly because of asteroid impacts that made sea levels drop. Other theories include axic rain from volcanic eruption, climate change, and methane release. Due to this, many species can't adjust to the new temperature. Scientists still aren't sure about the cause because there's not a lot of fossil evidence of this extinction. The ecosystem was later restored after several millions of years later. Field dinosaur species were started to exist since the Triassic period. The fourth mass extinction was possibly caused by a combination of climate change, asteroid impact, and volcanic eruption. Pangaea was break down, forming the Atlantic Ocean. Scientists still don't know what causes this event. Half of species died, but plants weren't affected that badly. The last mass extinction, which you are probably most familiar with, the KT extinction or Cretaceous Tertiary Mass Extinction. It happened 65 million years ago. There were some groups of dinosaur species that were already destroyed before the main extinction event. Scientists proposed that this event was caused by volcanic activity. Later, scientists discovered a huge asteroid that had crushed the seabed near Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula millions of years ago. This asteroid impact caused 60% of land species, 47% of marine species to go extinct, including the dinosaurs. This event marked the last appearance of all dinosaurs. All five of these mass extinctions killed most of the rare species that we never had a chance to look at. Although we found out what they look like, we aren't able to see them in real life. It has been 65 million years since the fifth mass extinction. However, Many scientists believe that we are in the sixth mass extinction and that we are probably a major cause. Therefore, we must protect ecosystems and endangered animals around the globe to prevent more extinctions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.